Alrighty guys, so uh, we've been getting into them this morning, but we figured we'd do a little bit of an introduction to people that are just getting into fishing. Um, really easy way to come and catch some fish is with power bait. Um, very, very easy setup. I, use, I like to use these clear uh, bubbles. Actually fills full of water. Um, so I'm gonna fill that full and then I'll show you how I set this up and you guys will be amazed how easy this is. So we just get all the air bubbles out lock that into place so that's a full bubble and we tie on a swivel just below that and that just basically stops the bubble from sliding then we're going to put on a little bit of six pound leader it's just six pound line clear and what i do is a full arm's length like a wingspan so we'll tie that to the bottom of the swivel just a little fisherman's knot, it's very easy to do. So I just loop it over and then I wrap it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you pull it up through that little loop that you got. And it, make sure you get the line wet. My hands are wet, so just pull that tight. And then we'll trim our little tag ends into our bag so we're not making a mess. Then we'll use a very small cheese hook. I like to use size 16. Little treble hook, size 16 is my favorite. Try not to poke yourself like I did. Same thing, just that fisherman's knot, seven wraps. And we're gonna be going for rainbows. That's what mostly takes this power bait. You will get a cutthroat every now and then, which is cool, but mostly rainbows. Now I've got a special concoction here. Now that's actually just plain corn. I'll show you guys how I make it. All right, so I've got garlic power bait, plain garlic, it's this lime green color. I'll get a nice glob of that, very pungent. <laughs> and then an equal amount of the corn power bait and you mix it together. This is my secret blend. Just kind of knead that together. It makes a really interesting color. I think the color plays as much into it as the scent. See that color it makes? Just enough to cover the hook, just barely enough. You don't need to get all fancy with the shape or anything, just cover the hook. Little nugget of joy. And I have my ultra light pole. This is a little five and a half foot pole. It's so fun to catch fish on this. With the long leader, it's a little bit tricky to cast, but You'll see where that comes into play. Let that bad boy sink. That should be a fish within a couple of minutes. We shouldn't have to wait long, so you just cast out, let it sink, and let it sit there. They'll smell that smell from a mile away and come get it. Super easy to do with kids, they love it. Fish on. Maybe three minutes. This should be a rainbow. And I'll show you the difference. There's gonna be a size difference, but you can tell by the way the fish looks too. The rainbows I find fight a lot better than the cutthroat. So you can see it's got a lot of pink on it, right? The spots are usually just on the top. It does have some on the sides, but not as heavily as the cutthroat. And no cutthroat markings under its jaw right here. So that's a rainbow. Thanks for coming along with us today and uh, tight lines.